Hi there, this is Nothing But Nails, and I'm coming to you with a video about my new set of nails, which are the ballerina nails. And what I did was I had some matte, I did a matte polish, and then I did a little top coat drizzle on the nails, as you can see. Let me bring them up close so you can see them a little bit better. I think they came out pretty okay. Some, you know, I had a little, but overall, I think they came out pretty good if you can see them through the camera. And I want to show you, this is the polish that I used. That's the color pop of it. And it's 143, one, I'm sorry, 149. That's the color then I use this this is the born pretty matte top coat that's what I use to matte it and I use this as the little lines the little drizzles this is what I use the no wipe top coat to do it and these are the nails okay I'm back I guess you know that my background has changed because I move around and I'm not making these videos all in the same day. Okay, now, before I go into my video about um, showing you a little bit more about this um, nail drill, I want to talk about foot pedals. I have watched um, a lot of videos about nail drills. Um, as you know, right now, I'm on my nail drill. I'm on my nail drill thing. And um, I no, I will not be getting any other nail drills other than this. But yes, I have ordered some more hand pieces. I have two more hand pieces coming. Um, one is a white one, and I'll do a video on these when they come in. And also, I have one that's a blue one, but it's a forty-five thousand RPM hand piece. But what I want to talk about in this part of the video is foot pedals. I think that a lot of people are. Um, that do nails and buy these nail by nail drills period are really afraid of the foot pedal and I think that people really don't understand how a foot pedal is supposed to work. this here because I think they're so cute I love these things but um foot pedals that you can get the one foot pedal that you usually get with the vid the talking about videos the nail drills that you buy from eBay Amazon or Aliexpress are on and excuse me on and off foot pedals which means that um, the foot pedal works the same way the on and off switch works like your hand is hand and foot it works the exact same okay. way now the foot pedal this is the foot pedal that comes with this machine and it plugs into the back okay what I think um, what I'm understanding that a lot of people have a problem with the foot pedal is that they're doing videos and they're saying well I'll never use my foot pedal and I've even had I've watched some videos where people tell people um, don't use the foot pedal um, you can't control the speed on your foot pedal that is absolutely not true the foot pedal works the exact same way the hand does right now if you'll notice and let me see if I can't zoom in on that let me go down a little bit so you can see that it says on right here my machine is in off so right now my machine works by the foot pedal now let me show you this this is the hand piece and if I turn it on my I have it completely off the um, speed of it is off right now so if I turn it on the machine is on but the hand piece does nothing as I turn it up it starts working this is as high as I keep my um, hand piece on this machine that's the speed that I usually that's as high as it as I keep it 
because this is a very powerful machine. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn it off. That stops it. But with the foot pedal, now the foot pedal is, I haven't done anything to the speed. The speed is still where I left it at when I had it in the hand mode. This is the foot pedal. The foot pedal speed should be the same speed that it goes on the hand also. What I think that I've noticed that some people are having a problem with is some people are getting foot pedals with their drills and they turn the hand part on and the hand is going one speed and then when they turn it on to use the foot pedal and they press on the foot pedal, the foot pedal is going wide open. You know, it's as if I turn this machine all the way up. Let me tell you this. Your foot pedal should not be doing that. Your foot pedal should not be doing that. If you're having that problem where when you use your foot pedal, this is a speed right here that I have my machine on, as you can see. Let me see if I can turn it this way. Maybe you can see it a little better. Now, that's the speed that I keep my machine on. Right now, I'm pressing the foot pedal. See how it's not going wide. It's not going to the full maximum speed. It's going the same speed that it will go if I turn on the hand. That's what a foot pedal is supposed to do. As I said before, if you are using your foot pedal and your machine is set here, but as soon as you press on the foot pedal, it goes as fast. I mean, your hand piece starts going as fast as it'll go. Then your foot pedal is broken. And the thing that I suggest that you do is I would contact the seller, get a refund, return the machine, and order just a different machine, probably from another seller, because it would cost too much for you, for these machines, getting them on eBay, Amazon, or AliExpress. It will probably cost you too much money to ship that machine off somewhere, have them to work on it, then you'll have to pay them to do it, and you probably pay more to have it fixed than you would for than you did for the machine itself. I would return that machine. It is defective. I personally, as you all know, I will not use a drill that does not come with a foot pedal. I cannot stand a drill without a foot pedal. I do have little, you know, the little pin drills that you yeah. had, a lot of people had in the beginning when you first started out. You started out with a little pin drill. I have that. I still have my um, my manicurist. You know my video on the ma my manicurist, the cordless, re you know cordless drill. I still have that one. And um, if it wasn't for the greatness of this one, I probably would still be using those. But I also have the little the black one that I showed in the other video a few videos back. Um, that's the rechargeable one. That those do not have foot pedals. And they drive me absolutely bonkers because I hate a drill without a foot pedal. And I think that the misconception is that people don't understand how a foot pedal is supposed to work. Your foot pedal should not go any faster when you use it than your machine goes when you have it on hand. You should be able to switch from hand to foot and your speed still remain right here. This controls the hand well, let me put it like this. This should control the hand and the foot at the same speed. Like I said, if you are using your foot pedal and your foot pedal is going wide open and it's, I mean, it just starts out, even if you have it here and it just starts out and it's going fast as it'll go, then your foot pedal is not working. That machine is defective. You need to return it and get a refund and order another drill from somewhere else. I would not order from the same seller. I just would not. And I would not send that drill back to that seller to be fixed. I would demand a refund. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there because I know that a lot of people are, they really, you know, act like they're afraid of a foot pedal. And you should not 
a foot pedal is really your best friend. Like I say, I work with my foot pedal. That's all I work with. That's why you see my machine in the off position here. Because when it's off, I'm, the foot pedal is on. All I have to do is, when I want it to stop, start, stop, start, and take my foot off, and it stops. I don't have to, this is, okay, this irritates me. Okay, turn it on, do what I need to do, and then I have to turn it off then put it back in its cradle and all that. No. All I have to do is keep it off. When my foot is on the foot pedal, take it off, put it in the cradle. It works so much better for me that way. So I just want to kind of clear that up because I think a lot of people are having a problem with this foot pedal thing. And I think it's because people are just afraid of foot pedals. They don't know. They think that a foot pedal... Um, you have to control the foot pedal with your foot. I mean, you know, the speed of your um, machine when you use the foot pedal is controlled by your foot pedal. It's not. It's controlled by the same thing that controls the hand piece. The speed of your foot pedal should not go any faster than you have this set. So if you're having that problem with a drill, your foot pedal is broken. Probably something in the drill is not connecting to the foot pedal and it's not working right. Return it, ref get a refund, go somewhere else to another seller and buy you another one. Okay, that's all I want to say on that. Okay, now, what I want to do, I don't think I've done this in any of the videos since I've gotten this machine. I want to show you how to, this machine is just like, um, the handpiece works just like any other handpiece does. It's just a lot more powerful. This handpiece, you know, I'm going to say this, you know, they have the, hold on, let me get this up here so you can see it. You know, you've got that R and S on your machine. I never could figure out, I knew what the R meant, release. I never could figure out what the S meant. And I finally watched a video about this piece and it says the S stands for secure. So it's release and secure. And this handpiece works no different. You turn it to the left to release it, to release your bit, and you place your bit back in. I keep mine just a little bit above the machine, and then you turn it to S for secure, and it works perfectly. Now, I'm going to attempt to um show you this machine in action as you can see beautiful smooth closer so you can see exactly yeah what I'm doing and okay don't see this is the way that I do it and I mean like a charm now I'm gonna go this way yeah seems to go better when I go this way And I want to say this, this is not even a name brand um, ceramic bit. I, this is a generic, this is a, um, I guess you call it generic, whatever. It's not by, this one is not by Tadoc USA. I ordered this one on eBay and it was a cheaper price. And I will say this. 
when I had my other drills and I tried to use these bits that were pretty much um, a generic um, ceramic bit, they did not work well at all. They It took forever for them to remove the product. But with this machine, as you can see, it just works. So And I'm pressing down some on here. See? And I got some on the inside. But I just want to show you me taking off polish on a few of these nails. what I'm going to do for right now but as you can see it takes off the polish very very well that is that and I hope you enjoy this and you'll see me in my next video okay bye bye